And youth activist Malama Mosonda adds that Zambians do not want foreigners owning mines, stating that the same foreign investors end up enslaving locals. The Zambian government has entered into an agreement through ZCCMIH with Karma Limited that culminated into the formation of a special purpose vehicle in Consolidated Gold Company Zambia, CG. C C G C Z in favor of Karma Limited with a fifty five percent to forty five percent in favor of Karma. Abandoned mineral wealth apart from the much pronounced copper, the country boasts of numerous precious minerals like gold as well. Recently, the Zambia Consolidated Copper Mines Investments Holdings ZCMIH entered into a joint venture partnership through its subsidiary Consolidated Gold Company Zambia with Ara Meto, a gold firm to process gold oil in Mumba West of Lusaka. Minister of Mines Permanent Secretary Bernard Mulenga said the partnership between ZCCMIH and Kama Limited is aimed at establishing a gold processing facilities in Rufonsa and Mumba districts. Mr. Mulenga further explains that CGCZ and Kama Limited are, however, not undertaking any mining of gold or material, but partnering with existing license holders. This has caused some concerned citizens great anguish. Youth activist Malam Sonda is concerned that government has engaged Kama Limited to process gold in Zambia. So is politician James Lukoko. We would like to appeal to the government to leave the gold mining uh, to Zambians. And even the, the process of minting the gold, I think government should find a way of just ZCMIH themselves to be operating that minting of the gold. Why should we allow uh, a foreign company to, to start minting our gold? I think we're at a point where we need as, ma as many resources as possible. Very clear, very clear. The Zambians have rejected the involvement of these foreigners in the in the mining of gold in our country. Zambians have refused. You can